What's up, folks? My name is Maximilian, and join us as we take an artistic retrospective look back at some of my favorite fighting games of the past. You're watching Super Arts. To me, fighting games have always had a really unique visual aesthetic. Besides the brutal ballet of two fighters duking it out until their life bars deplete, there's a few things you might miss in the design and creation of these characters and stages that make fighting games look so cool. So let's go back and take a look at one of the most popular coin-op arcade games you might have played in the past. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Making its debut in 1996, X-Men vs. Street Fighter was crafted from the popularity of such Capcom fighting games as X-Men Children of the Atom and Street Fighter Alpha 2. Both these titles had critical success in arcades because of the hugely popular Street Fighter arcade games and Jim Lee's X-Men of the mid-90s. So by merging these two universes together, Capcom and Marvel had created an arcade game that could cause a teenage boy's head to explode. X-Men vs. Street Fighter! That teenage boy was me. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, as we all know, is a fantastic fighting game and something that nobody expected. But let's talk about the design. Taking two different franchises that have two very different art styles was something that had really never been done before. The characters had to feel like they belonged in the same world with each other. Street Fighter characters couldn't feel alien next to X-Men characters, and the art and design had to also represent this. The task was eventually given to a renowned Capcom artist and designer by the name of Bengus. Responsible for the character designs and art in several previous Capcom fighting games including Street Fighter 2 and Darkstalkers, Bengus was able to craft an art style for the X-Men and Street Fighter characters that didn't feel too Japanese or too American in design. The Street Fighter side of the cast still retained a lot of the art style and overall look from previous games of the series, especially from Street Fighter Alpha and half of the X-Men cast also brought characters and sprites over from the previous game X-Men Children of the Atom. However, there was four brand new sprites created just for X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Rogue, Gambit, Sabretooth, and Apocalypse. Gambit and Apocalypse would make appearances later in the Versus series beyond X-Men vs. Street Fighter, but we would not see Rogue or Sabretooth playable until Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in the year 2000. Capcom was also very aware about tailoring the design and look of X-Men vs. Street Fighter around American comic culture. So much so, there was a poster and mock comic book made just for the game that has some of the coolest artwork made to resemble the early Jim Lee X-Men comics. Not to mention the stages, taking place in a city street that collapses into a sewer, and in other locations like a shopping mall and processing plant, you get a nice blend of different locations that also fit within the Street Fighter and X-Men universe. And it's hard to stop looking at these stages. They look so cool and they're a testament to Capcom's pixel artists back in the mid-90s. X-Men vs. Street Fighter was also one of the first fighting games to introduce cinematic elements during a fight. Portraits of each character would pop up on screen during a super art, as well as a character freeze when the tag team partnered up together. Tag team fighting games were also far and in between back when this game came out in 1996, so the theme of partnership and working together was a huge element throughout the game. From the interface, background art, combat, and character designs, X-Men vs. Street Fighter was introducing a crazy visual look to fighting games that had never been seen before, and to this day is still an amazingly crafted 2D fighting game that no one should miss out on. Thank you, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, for combining a couple of the things I loved most as a kid. This week's Super Arts Community Spotlight goes out to character artist and digital designer Shunel. Visit the link in the description below to check out her site that includes many works from the Versus series, as well as these awesome Ultimate Marvel 3 keychain charms. They come individually, or you can get them as a pack together to make your entire Ultimate Marvel 3 team. And these little guys look really cool on keychains and capture the character personality perfectly. Thanks a ton, Shu Now. I'm officially a fan. Thanks very much for watching, folks, and if there's a fighting game you'd like me to take a look at as far as the art and design, leave a comment below. Until then, I'll see you on the next episode of Super Arts.